Hi everyone, this is Jason, going to talk to you about making a GIF file, a G-I-F file. Um, to give you an idea of what we're going to be making, uh, here's an example of a GIF file. Basically, it's multiple pictures put into one picture, and it kind of plays through them as if they're like individual frames. So I'm going to teach you guys how to make this GIF today, and um, we're going to start with Lightroom. So this is a class that I taught on uh, Saturday, and basically at the end of all my classes, I always try to make people look like they're overly excited and having an awesome time. So I decided to have a little fun with it and uh, plan to make a GIF file, which is what I'm doing right now. So I took all these images and they're in high resolution. One thing about GIF files is you don't want to have a super high resolution file uh, because it will you know, take forever to load into someone's browser and slow it down and you won't get the experience that you want. So I selected all the images that I wanted in Lightroom. So starting with the first one and going all the way through, getting that effect. And I think stopping here. Um, these are all the images that I want inside my GIF file. So I select all these images. I go to export in Lightroom. And in here, I basically, I've already done this, so I put into a subfolder GIF file, uh, the GIF folder. So kept it in the same folder as all the other ones, uh, as the original images, and then decided to put it in a subfolder uh, called GIF so it's easy to find. I then went through and selected resize to fit. Okay, typically this is unclicked, so I want to click it. And I want to change the size of the image. So I want mine to be small so I can post it on my blog and you know it's easy to download, it's quick, it's a small file. So I only made mine 900 pixels wide by 600 pixels wide. Uh, just make sure whatever size you make that it's relatively small, can fit on a computer screen of most sizes, which this can, and to keep the aspect ratio of the images. So that's always key uh, in terms of making sure there's no distortion in the image. Um, so this is shot with the DSLR. So a 3 to 2 ratio would work just fine. And I put resolution at 72 dpi, which is the standard web format. Uh, for print, you know, it's typically 300 dpi. It's a little too high for this. So again, we're keeping it a lower quality just so it can load quickly. Uh, so we're going to do resolution 72. Uh, this is not very important, but this is to sharpen the image. I tend to always sharpen my images. Uh, and then I hit export. Now since I've already done this, um, basically I'm not going to do it again. But you hit export, and it'll export all the images uh, into that folder. Then what you want to do is you want to open up Photoshop, create a new image, or a new canvas, and you select the width and the height, and you make it the same as what you made it for uh, the, the export. Uh, same resolution. You hit OK. All right. And then all you have to do is you select, so I'm basically I have all my images right here in this folder. I'm going to select all of these images. So here's all the images that I exported. I'm going to hold it down and I'm just going to drag into Photoshop. Okay? So it basically puts it into free transform where you can't really do anything. Uh, so what you have to do, all these images are ready to be loaded. So all you have to do is just hit enter. Enter, 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 until all the files are loaded, which is now. Uh, there we go. So all the images are now loaded into the, the frame. Uh, make sure they're all in order. So actually one's out of order, so we're going to bring that down. Come on, go down. So somehow one got out of order, and I'm just trying to put it back into order. And what we want to do from there is you guys see this frame down here. This is typically not here. Uh, so what you have to do is you have to go to View. I'm oh, sorry. You have to go to Window, and you want to go to Animation. You select Animation, and then your Animation window will pop up here. Okay. If you don't see animated as frame, you know you just go this little option right here and um, uh, panel options if you're not seeing this particular frame you want to make sure you're in the animation frame not the measurement log 
So go to animation frames, which we're in right now, and then all you have to do is just go make frames from layers. It will import all your layers, and they're all in here now, all in order. Uh, you want to delete that background layer because you don't want a white one. All right. So um, what you then need to do is you need to give each frame a certain amount of time. So what I do is I want them all to be the same time. So I'm going to select all, and I'm just going to select any one of these. And I'm going to, the, in terms of seconds, a little arrow in seconds, and I'm going to select 0.1 seconds. It's typically what I do for all my GIFs. And then the, all of them you'll see are now at 0.1 seconds. We hit play, and voila. And it will continuously play over and over again, and you get a funny picture of all these people jumping up and having a good time. Which I'm sure they're all embarrassed by. So, uh, once you've done that, that's pretty much it. All you have to do from there is you have to save the file. Now here's the key. You have to hit save for web and devices. So we hit save for web and devices. Okay. We want to make sure that GIF is selected. So we want to select GIF. G-I-F. -G you don't have to really worry about these other things. Don't worry about really anything else. Um, looping options is important. You want to make sure it continuously loops. So instead of choosing launch, you want to choose forever. That way it will continuously loop. Um, and I'm going to put the starting frame, the very first frame, so 1 to 25, and pretty much if I hit play, we'll see it happen again. Make sure it's all in order. But there, yep, yeah, there we go, everything's good. And that's it, we hit save, and um, I'll put class jumping 2, hit save. And voila, I can just pull up the folder that I just saved it into and scroll down and here's the one I just created. And there it is. There's how you make a GIF file and then from there you just have to upload it to pretty much any online site uh, that accepts GIF files. Uh, I don't believe Facebook does it, but uh, other sites will allow your GIF file to work. Maybe your blog or something like that and you get a cool, fun image. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to make a GIF image. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments of this blog post. And um, yeah, until next time.